With gold prices right now being at the record high, it's got me wondering about the rest of my investments. My journey is a long-term, low-risk plan. Yes, it's proven to be rather successful, but I've got to say, bloody hell, is it rather boring. Okay, so let's get straight into the topic. Gold bullion, it's uh, it's pretty high right now. There's no denying that. I mean, we're looking at a record high of £1,770.22 per ounce of gold. I mean, that is astronomical. In the last three months, it's had an increase of 9.06%. That's an increase per ounce of £146.99. I mean, £1,770, that is a lot of money. And it got me wondering, my investments. If you're watching Future Investments and you've been watching long enough, you'll know that my top three investments are precious metals, index funds and property. So how does that leave me? Well, I've got to say it's a, a successful plan. It's proving to do me well. My index funds are sitting very, very nicely. They're up 15% prospectively on my S&P 500 and around 5% on my FTSE 100. So they're doing rather well. Gold, as we know, is up massively right now. So that's proving to be a very uh, lucrative wealth preservation. Not only are you preserving your wealth, but it's actually increasing because of the rate that it's increasing. And property, well, I'm working towards getting my first buy-to-let property. So that, that's still on the uh, on the path to be achieved, but I'm getting very, very close. So where does that leave me? Should I be adding more speculative investments like crypto? Well, I've said it before, haven't I? And I really did want this year to sort of invest a fair amount of money into Bitcoin under a set and forget strategy. A more riskier investment. Now, some of you big Bitcoin fans out there will be saying future investments Calm yourself down. Why do you keep saying Bitcoin is a risky investment? Look at the way it's performing right now. Well, I understand that. When you're passionate about an investment and you get that tunnel vision on that particular asset, that investment vehicle, it's hard to see it from a different perspective. But as I'm currently outside of it, I haven't got any Bitcoin. I see it as a risky investment. I see it as a little bit more of a gamble on, you know, securing that wealth i do think there's an opportunity to make some serious wealth there i know there's a halving coming up next month in april so there's probably a good opportunity there to stick some capital into it as, a, as an investment but i'm just so set in my ways as an investor for the long-term low risk strategy i've really kind of built that off of a foundation of books such as rich dad poor dad by robert kiyosaki and the compound effect by andrew craig it really taught me that you know, the tortoise investor usually does beat the hare investor in the long run. Yes, the hare investor might make some quick returns, but overall, when you look at the results from the tortoise investor, consistent compounding effects of consistently adding into your index funds or your precious metal stack to, you know, preserve that wealth, it's, it does show the results that it's a very successful strategy. Now, having said that, it's boring. I find it very boring. I love investing. It's my hobby. It's my passion. You guys know that, you know, whether it be silver bars like this Perth Mint Dragon Bar or course rounds, gold Britannias or index funds or even property. I just find it at the minute very stale. I'm finding it hard to get excited. I think because as well, I'm a weight stacker. I don't get the enjoyment out of precious metals, maybe as someone that's a bit more of a collector's, you know, um, you know, if you're collecting series pieces maybe like the missing legend series from the royal mint or other series pieces might give you some more enjoyment however as i'm a weight stacker i don't try and get too caught up in those series editions i think for me my strategy fits better being um you know a weight stacker getting the pieces i like but trying to stick to those lower premium items my investment does feel a little bit stale right now, but, you know, maybe that is a good thing. Maybe that's because it's working. I suppose if it wasn't working, 
I wouldn't find it boring, would I? I'd be thinking about liquidating it, selling off, cutting my losses. That's definitely not boring. But I suppose boring safe, isn't it? Boring safe is consistent. And, you know, that's what my goal was for investments. Long term, low risk and consistent. And it is proving to do quite well. Like I said, my index fund, the S&P 500 specifically, is up massively. It's up about 15%, sometimes more. So for me, you know, anything in the green is a positive, of course, but I know seasoned investors on Wall Street and the stock markets consider anything over 10% a very good yield on an investment. So yeah, the S&P is doing me very, very well. I would consider the S&P 500 a fun investment. Um, you know, it's less stale than precious metals. You know, you invest in those commodities like gold and silver and it yes it looks lovely and when you unpackage it for the first time and you get it it's very exciting but after that you know you lock it away it goes into the back of your mind it goes into the back of your portfolio you know we know that gold is the backbone of an investment portfolio for sure it's the backbone of my investment portfolio but it's just not thrilling me at the moment so i'm looking at it on maybe a slightly pessimistic way here but if I'm trying to be optimistic about it, what do the numbers say? Well, the numbers say my investment portfolio, my plan, my strategy is working. Not only is it working, it's working very well. Uh, my net worth is increasing month by month and massively year by year. And I think it's that classic thing of, you know, compound, the compound effect, because it's so gradual and so consistent. While you're doing it, you don't notice. You don't see the growth per se, but at a after a long period of time, all of a sudden you think, wow, this is where I am. So you do get a perspective later on of where you've come from to where you are now. So I'm going to continue with my low risk, long term strategy. It's what I know. It's what I understand. It's what I feel comfortable with. Maybe I will look at getting some Bitcoin, but I need to stop beating around the bush, so to speak. And I need to maybe put my foot down and make a few more commitments, be a little bit more committed and take more risks. That might help me enjoy the investment world a little bit more. So that's just my thoughts on investing at the moment. I hope you enjoyed this episode. It's been a nice relaxed topic, something that I thought might be more related to everyone out there as well. Thanks very much for watching. It's been a pleasure to film this one and I look forward to seeing you all in the very next episode. Bye bye guys. So if you stay till the end of the video, thanks very much. I appreciate your time. And for that, I wanted to show you a little unboxing. Now, I received a package in the post the other day. I don't know who it's from. I might assume it's from someone particular, but I'm not going to try and assume. I will just unbox it and go with it. So let's start the unboxing. Ooh. Okay, it's not who I thought it was from. Straight away, I can see it's from... Darth Precious Metals. He has sent me some very beautiful poker chips. Darth Precious Metals, the grace of the dark side. These are epic. These are so cool. If you don't know a little bit about me, I am a huge Star Wars fan. I mean, that's an understatement. I don't get to enjoy it this, that much these days because I spend so much time investing and content creating for future investments. But back in the day, in 2020, during COVID, when I had a lot more time on my hands, all I did was enjoy Star Wars. So, wow, these are epic. And he sent me two as well. Maybe I'll have to give one away because I, I think that would be, that'd be a nice thing to do. Thank you very much, Darth. And he sent me a letter. Let's have a little look. Oh, and some stickers. Fantastic. Wow, they're really nice. Darth, you've smashed this with your poker chips and stickers, mate. Wow, Darth Precious Metals. Wow, they're super cool. They are super cool. Thanks very much, dude. I love the, like, the green that comes off of them. Epic. They're going to go on the wall at the back there. And he has sent me a letter. Wow. This is very kind of you. I feel so honoured to get sent these items from you guys. So it says, Dear Future, Hope this letter finds you well. I've been waiting a lot of time for my new stickers to arrive, and I hope you'll like them. I absolutely do. I think they're epic. As you know, I enjoy your channel a lot. Please continue the amazing content because, well, this is the way. 
If you don't get that quote, you're not a true Star Wars fan. May the stack be with you always. Your fellow investor, Darth. Oh, mate, thank you so much, dude. That's really special. I really appreciate that. Thank you, buddy. That means a lot. So, a lovely unboxing there from Darth Precious Metals. A lovely letter, some lovely stickers, and some lovely poker chips. I really appreciate that, mate. I'm honoured that you wanted to send that to me. I feel very blessed. Thanks, Darth. You're a legend.